Aries. This message is for you. All right, so <clears throat> I see that, uh, like, lady, you've had a lot going on. New things, new things happening. A lot of new things happening. Um, there's also like signs of of of, of I want to say like a pregnancy type, you know, type of type of sign. So be careful if if, if um, you're out there doing your thing. Just you know that that could happen. Um, but there's um, a lot of decisions. There's not being able to make a decision on certain offers that you're getting. Um, you're like blinded to what's going on. I feel like, uh, or maybe there's 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 an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or um, uh, Gemini here that is offering you love. I think this person is. This person, I feel what I'm getting from for your person is that they feel like the the, the love you're giving them is maybe kind of sketchy. Like they don't trust what you're offering because you're offering so much. I feel that way, but you could also be feeling like, okay, this person is giving me so much love. I never felt this way. I feel a little bit guarded in a way, not necessarily, but. I want to know, I want to know what's going on. So like deep conversations and I feel like they're going to ask or you're going to ask for a lot of, you know, assurance that everything's okay if you're dealing with someone. For some reason, I know I said singles, but this is coming too. And if if, if, if this, if for single people, there's someone here. There's someone here coming for you. October, mid-October, maybe possibly towards the end of October that is um confused on what they want to do you if you like this person they don't they're not going to make a decision they're going to be at a standstill this person is not going to make a decision for single single aries here so uh shoot your shot but don't feel bad if they if they don't know what to say back or what to tell you or reply to you but obviously let me tell you one thing if this person does not mm, doesn't uh, appreciate you for who you are and, and don't doesn't think that um, they can make a decision, then you do what you got to do and move on. Keep going. Keep moving forward. If you want to still hang out with this person, because this person seems like they have a lot going on, like their mental health or their mental state is they have so many things going on. They don't know what to do. They might be involved with someone else or maybe they, they think that you are not serious or that they want more recognition, more assurance that, okay, it's going to be fine. Okay, we're going to, you know, like if I was an Aries and, and this person was in front of me, I'd be like, I really, really like you. I really, really want to have family with you. Every constant hour, you have to be doing that, you know, like, and I feel like that, you know, like it's not really a problem for you because you really like this person you really have with this person that you're going to meet or this person you're dealing with you're going to have this tremendous amount of love for her. but they don't see it but you do you feel it and you're going to offer it because this is your person you think this is your person you're going to offer that or someone's going to come and offer this to you and vice versa right vice versa so if you think that you're you know, confused in the mind, someone's going to come out and offer you a lot of love, but you're not going to be able to decide what to do with, with, with that offer, that love offer, you know? So, um, just watch out for that. I think who got that? Huh. I think Sagittarius got the same type of message, but, um, just not being able to make a decision, but, um, we got a lot of air. Well, we got air and we got uh water here. So, you know, air signs or water signs that you're dealing with but it could be anybody now this is a quick message so uh really quick love angels do you have any other messages for aries do you have any other messages for aries show me the messages that you want to get aries for october one card came out okay Ooh. unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going I'm sorry. And that kind of goes with what I literally was saying here with this person not knowing what to do, whether it's you or this other person not knowing what to do. And then and, and hopefully, I feel like I want to say that some of you guys will persist, persist, persist because you like this person. And I feel like 
hopefully this person makes that decision and says, you know what, I'm going to and see what actually Aries is doing for me and go with it. Or you're going to be like, well, you know what, this person's offering me so much freaking love. I got to get out of my head and I got to see in the pre present, you know, in the, the, the physical right now, what's going on and, and see who, how much love has come towards me with this person and, you know, open my eyes pretty much and be careful, be careful, be careful because um, if you don't make that decision, you might, you know, make someone feel like this or, or this is how someone feels. I'm quiet. Someone feels like maybe what they do for you is not enough. Or maybe you're, what you do for them is kind of sketchy or iffy, you know, like, so, um, <laughs> I want to pull another card, but I feel like, no, this is the spirit saying that this is it. Someone here and this, you know, whoever comes towards you, if you're a single Leo, it's getting, it, it might feel like an unrequited because you are not accepting the offer at all. And, but if you're dealing with someone already, I know I said single Leo's, but if, if, if this is for someone who kind of is on the outs of, with someone or on the ins or whatever, um, yeah, the, there's unrequited love here. There's someone is it's pretty much checked out, out of the, the picture here. So, um, I just want to, you know, wish you guys a good month. And that was, uh, yeah, I told you, you felt connected or you felt like, this was your person is on the bottom it says soulmate but that's the bottom of the deck but i feel like this is pretty much the the, the highlight of the whole reading this is just unrequited so be careful um don't force it right um go with it but you gotta be open when you're seeking for love if you are seeking for love you have to be open to receiving love and you have to know who you are um uh, self-love goes a long way you know when you're trying to find your soulmate because you don't want to manifest your soulmate or your twin flame while in a low vibrational state because all you're gonna do is mess it up yeah they're your soulmates yeah they're you guys are contracted or whatever but that doesn't mean that everything's gonna go perfect trust me i know that like it doesn't mean that everything's gonna be perfect everybody is different everybody has different feelings beliefs and everything so and that's the beauty the, the beauty i, I wasn't that beautiful <laughs> The, that's the beauty, but also how life is so beautiful because everybody is their own self and and and, and there's so many options and, ex, you know, getting to know each other and exploring each other is like a whole different world. And then, like I said, love is not everything, but love is definitely necessary, you know, open your heart. Aries, have a good month. Um...